hey guys and welcome back to another video hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today to share with you my full review of the tonton surveillance video system which at the moment of the recording is the system that i've used so far with the largest wi-fi coverage now that being said topics that we are going to cover obviously the wi-fi range or coverage the unboxing installation and then the main monitor functions and also the functions that we can get on the mobile app so starting with the Wi-Fi coverage and I've got right over here on the screen as you can see uh, I've got one camera as you can see right over here this is the office and we are on the basement and then I've got on the ground floor which just just above us uh, on the garage right over here another camera and then I've got on the backyard right over there on that direction on the opposite side of the backyard another camera so this is distance and of course we have to measure the distance from the main monitor which is what i've got right over here and then we've got on the first floor so two floors above me to the other side of the house and this is a big distance this last camera right over here now have in mind that the signal is a bit weak right over here and of course the test that i did having in mind that this is a portable unit i did wander around the house this is something that we need to do on any system because we need to find the best place to put the monitor so that it grabs the best signal possible and honestly this this place right over here the office is one of the worst places to place the monitor because it's really far away from the other camera that it's two floors above right over here the same is if i put next to that camera it would capture a weak signal from the one here on the office but nonetheless as you can see all of them are working some of them with better signal some of them with weaker signal but this just to say that it works great now if you need more space there are two solutions that tonton has one of which is to use each camera as a hotspot so i can place a camera near to the uh, main monitor and use that camera as a hotspot to grab another camera that's nearby the other way is to use a wi-fi extenders that they also have available on amazon and if i don't forget i will leave some links down below in terms of the unboxing experience i did record a video in portuguese so if you don't mind just check it right over here and although you are probably not portuguese i do believe that you will enjoy the video nonetheless i will leave a few seconds of footages right over here there is a main package i will leave a link down below that comes with the nvr or the main monitor monitor 7 inches and it also brings two cameras included with everything that we need to install so by default we have two cameras if we want to extend our package to four cameras we can get another two extra cameras that we get individually and that's what i did one thing that i would like to point out as well is that i was very surprised with the build quality the cameras are made of a metallic housing waterproof which is just great actually it's been raining for the last few days which is awesome to test out these devices i've got two of them outside and a few minutes ago it was pouring range when i did record the video in portuguese and it was actually funny but if we take a look at this angle right over here at this moment it's not raining but i've got two of them outside actually this one right over here it's full of water on the lens as you can see because of the rain another interesting thing that i did find is that uh, although we can use the nvr and we should and for me this is the best way each and every single camera has a hidden door where we can place in a micro sd card so we can capture images individually so just out of curiosity that was very very great now in terms of the installation i've done a few installations here uh, so i will not waste your time but it's very straightforward you just need to put in the 12 volt uh, power adapter connect to the camera and that that is it it will connect automatically as you could see on the unboxing i did connect all of them while i was doing the unboxing so it's really straightforward now the only thing that i would change on the installation is the power adapter there are a few power adapters that we can order and usually what i do is that i do use those power adapters near the lightning spots that we have on our walls and like that i can just put a small box and do a do-it-yourself solution but have in mind that you will have to respect the voltage of the original power adapter that you have it also has a really nice feature which is the communication of audio both ways now just testing out the audio quality that you will get out of the camera so there is a two-way speaking functionality which is awesome 
Hey guys, and welcome back to another one. I'm just testing out the audio quality that we can get out of the camera. Besides being able to communicate through the display, I can also communicate via the application. I think I didn't record any video, but we can do it. Now, the PIR movement detection works really nice. It's smart detection. And uh, if you see by some images, it will, when it's not sure, it will place a red square uh, on the object that it's moving, trying to detect if it's a human or not. And then if it's a human, it will fire the alarm. If we have the alarm option on, we have several levels of sensitivity and it works really, really well. So one thing that uh, it has implemented, but I didn't test because I don't use is the implementation with Alexa. So we can use this with Alexa. Now let's take a look at the monitor, which is right over here. In my opinion, looks really, really nice. Uh, it has a battery built in, so you will have about half an hour, 40 minutes of duration before it dies. But having batteries for me was great because I could wander around the house testing out the best spots that I had. And let's let's take a look at the functions right over here as you can see we have the four angle it works really well it has a micro sd right over here and all the ports and things like that i did mention on the unboxing the storage is through micro sd so depending on the capacity of the sd cards uh, we will have more footages or less footages now if i press gently twice it will open up the screen and you can see the microphone right over here which i can use to communicate also one thing that we have available is that if we have the movement detection on we can select if there's movement it will pop up the image automatically for the big screen so that is great and if i press gently twice it will just go off if i press this one right over here as we can see we are live right over here with a bit of delay but this is normal between video systems i can close that so we can we can do this now if i press just one we have this menu the symbol of the audio is if we want to grab audio from any of these channels and then if i press the home button it will take me to this uh, setup right over here video playback we will see that in the app because although we can do here i can also do on the app so we will see there but basically we can have the video playback the system setup which is easy we can select the language time setup wireless boring things which are necessary but uh, to a video they will be a bit boring now if i go to the record setup i can also schedule if i want a 24 7 recording or if i want just to record when there's movement i've got mine on 24 7 and it's working really nice and when it fills up the SD card uh, it will start recording over the oldest uh, footages that we have so this is a great feature as well and one thing about the SD card I was a bit concerned if it was fast or not regarding uh, systems with hard drives and I didn't have any complaint whatsoever now the match code was on the setup I did set up the four cameras right over here really quickly on the unboxing experience check it out right over there and then we have the alarm setup if you want to motion detect pop up in the full screen if you want to have volume on the alarm or not but we can use for a certain camera if we want to have some detection right over there and pop up the alarm on the main display it will pop up and it will be loud enough for us to wake up for example so if i go back we also have the system manager system info factory settings so if we want to reset the system for any reason login management and then the firmware update so basically these are the functions that we have works great really nice now let's jump into the app so the app that it uses is the ip pro which i was really happy when i did discover that tonton uses this app especially because this is the app that i use for my main system as you can see below i've got the yes Camel, which is the one that i use at this moment and then on top i've got the Ton -ton. now the app has really interesting features we will see some of them there is the setup and the share and a few more things right over here that we will not cover because i've covered this in the past but it works really well the app is really simple to use as we can see once we open it up the system that we have it will show us the angles i can just select one and if i put my phone on the vertical it will show me of course a bigger image with more details and a lot more uh, quality on the video itself which i can choose between sd or hd depending on the uh, network connection that i've got and as you can see we can just scroll through uh, the several angles that we've got we've got four as you can see we can see right over here live now this is one of the features the other feature that we can use regularly is the microphone like we did on the main monitor we can communicate audio both ways using the app so if you are outside the home you can do that and one thing that i would like to share with you that i didn't on the main display is the 
playback so if i go to the playback i can just go right over here and then it will show me uh, you will see two breaks right over here this was the monitor was off i was doing a few experiments and in this morning right over here uh, while i was doing some tests i did run out of battery so i just put it to charge uh, but if i go back uh, roughly midday something like that and if i press play i was recording a video i think at, yeah the video from asus store right over here so we can check any hour of the day that we did record and we can also select by day i can go to the calendar just select the date that i want and then after the day just select the hour i can export the video and things like that which is great now if i get out of here because i was talking about exporting the video a nice option which is this button that we see that says recording if i press the record i can record directly to my phone so this is just a shortcut which is really nice and of course the setup is really easy one more thing that i would like to add is that if you can use the uh, ip pro app you can also use your system with windows you just need to download a cms system and you will be able to show your system on a windows mini computer for example so besides the main monitor if you want to use on a iphone or android tablet for example or a windows computer we can do that so ip pro and the systems that use this software are great and give us a lot of flexibility so in conclusion guys things that i did really enjoy first of all the wireless coverage was great the app i was really happy and of course the possibility to use windows as well on this system and the overall quality of the system so that is it hope that the video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one